Melissa. Happy Tuesday. I am here with a, uh, apparently a hack that no one knew about, even though it's not really a secret. Um, so I'm going to show you today how to use torch paste um, and not use your heat gun. Okay, so if you don't have a heat gun or you prefer not to use it because it takes too long, you can actually use your heat press um, to activate um, torch paste. Okay, so torch paste makes it appear that you have um, uh, a wood burned on a piece of wood. Okay, so this is really easy to do. However, if you use a heat gun, it actually, it takes a bit of time, especially if you're doing more than one. Okay, so basically what you would do is once you have your torch paste on there through your stencil, whether that's a vinyl stencil or a stencil that you've created um, with in some other method, um, you then have to use your, your a heat gun. This is not plugged in because we're not going to use it today. And you have to run it over. Um, and sometimes for something like this, this took a good five minutes. Okay. So you can imagine that if you were making a bunch of them, it would really, um, it can get time consuming. And if you have a big design, it can really get time consuming. So um, you can use your heat press and I didn't make this up. It literally says on the container, uh, activate with I mean, it is like a size five font. I, I don't even know. It says, it says right here, um, heat gun recommended or a heat press, 400 degrees to use. No, I didn't make it up, but apparently the other day when I posted this picture, um, people were like, heat press, what do you mean? So I guess we all wanna know how to use a heat press. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how this goes from start to finish. So I'm gonna assume that you already have your stencil. I am using this stencil to make um, a couple of little wood um, ornaments, okay? Now, just don't mind me, but this is how I get by on um, Silhouette School. You, you've probably seen this before. I use the front and back of things, okay? So, <laughs> this was done with printable heat transfer vinyl last year, and now we have blanks, and I'm gonna do the um, this side of them. Okay, so all we're gonna do, um, if, whether you've created your stencil with vinyl, if you've created your stencil with vinyl, then you can use it one time, right? If I used this with my Icon Art system, which allows me to make custom reusable stencils. So that's what I'm gonna use, and it's gonna allow me to do both with the same stencil, okay? So all I have to do, um, this is, would be the same for either, no matter what kind of stencil you're using. You're gonna place your stencil onto your wood um, piece. I actually like to like press it from the back to get it to stick on there, okay? And then you're going to take your torch paste and you're just, you don't need a whole lot. You just scoop some out of there, okay? And run it across your entire, uh, across your entire stencil. Okay, just this stuff I really like. So we've talked before about using um, singe pens and um, <clears throat> different kind of um, markers and things to get this wood look or wood burning look with silhouette. Um, with, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just getting over a little cold. Um, we've talked about singe pens before the thing is you you have to put the run those through the silhouette machine which is great except that sometimes whatever item it is that you're using for example this wouldn't fit through your silhouette machine okay so this is where it's really nice to be able to use torch paste where you can combine it with a stencil now once you apply the um once you apply the torch paste you need to wait about two minutes to let it um set on your stencil before you pull the stencil up okay then once i do that then i will um uh, put the torch paste on the second one so in the meantime i'm going to um figure out what else we're going to talk about for two minutes while we're waiting um you do want to use uh, have your heat press warmed up now it says on here 400 degrees. What it doesn't say is how much time. And so I know a lot of people um, are, you know, they're afraid to try things at home. Well, I might waste it. Okay, guys, my whole goal is for me to test this stuff out, figure out the best stuff, settings, cut settings, heat press settings, and then pass it on to you. So what you don't see is this, which is my trash can full of mess ups. And I'm going to show you what I did yesterday. Okay. So here was my first attempt 
at this wood burning and you can see it did not work out because of the material that I put over top of it, which was just a piece of copy paper, okay? Then I was able to successfully do it by again, adjusting my settings a little bit. So my settings on my, on my process, my settings, and so this isn't stuff that like I just know. I do test and while I encourage you guys to test as well, sometimes people email me and they're like, I'm really afraid to ruin that sheet of vinyl. It's, it's okay, like it's, it's okay. You'll be okay um, if you have, just do a little test setting. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this in a second while we do this second one. So now I have, I'm gonna put my stencil right back down um, on this second one. And this is again, where it's really helpful to be able to um, use the heat press for this because I will be able to um, heat press this, um, both of these at the same time. Whereas if I was using the uh, torch, I mean the heat gun, I would have to do one at a time. And like I said, when I did this one, this block, it took about five minutes um, for me to use the heat gun. And so I really actually, while you get more control with the heat gun, you spend a lot less time <laughs> with the heat press, okay? All right, so we're gonna let this one sit now for about two minutes, okay? And I'm gonna show you what this looks like up close so you can kind of see. So what this looks like here is you, you have your design on there. This is from the stencil and this is literally just from the torch paste here, okay? What I like about this is that when you are using torch paste, you can actually kind of see where your stencil is, where the torch paste gel has gotten onto the piece of wood. What you can't do when you're using a singe pen or something like that where you're running it through um, your silhouette machine, a lot of those singe pens are invisible. And so it's kind of like, did it work? Did it skip a spot? How do I know? Okay. Um, and so I do like this because you get that orange tint. Now what we're going to do, what we're, if you're just joining, um, first of all, all the links are up top, the links for the torch paste, the link for uh, vinyl stencil material, which you can just use 651. Um, you can, the link for the icon art stencil system, which is what I'm using to make reusable stencils with my regular SVGs. I design everything in studio and then just print from there. Um, and then also the heat press, which I think might be out of stock right now. Okay. So now let this one has kind of sat for about two minutes. So we'll just peel that off of there. Okay. And now what you have, I really need to wash that. So I'm going to try to hurry here, but, um, we now have our two pieces of wood that are ready to go. So this torch paste on this wood is still a little bit warm. I mean, not warm, it's still a little bit wet. So we need to dry it first. So the first thing that you're gonna do when you have your heat press is warm the heat press up to 400 degrees. You set it for 15 seconds and we're just gonna set these in here and slightly, slightly lower the top platen. It is not going to press down. I need to set this for about 15 seconds. All that is doing is drying the um, torch paste. And the key to that is so that it doesn't get stuck um, to in the next step. Because the next step, we're gonna pull the top platen all the way down, okay? All right, so 400 for 15 seconds for the first round, okay? Still looks the same. We're not expecting it to look like this quite yet. Now, for the next step, we're gonna put these back down here. Okay, I'm gonna try to move you up a little bit so you can see what's going on. Oops. Okay, and now I'm gonna take a piece of uh, butcher paper. Now, what you can see on this piece of butcher paper is that I already have some markings. This is from yesterday, okay? And this is not unexpected. So what you need to do is make sure that you're rotating or moving your paper so that it's um, you're using in a different area. You do not want this going over top of the area of your new, um, the wood that you're gonna burn here, okay? So I'm just gonna do mine like this, okay? And this time, I'm going to pull the top platen down for another 15 seconds, okay? So we did 15 seconds for the, the drying round. This is the part where I did this is the part where I, I did all the testing, okay? So I don't know, um, you might find other methods, but this is what has worked for me to get this. Okay, 15 seconds. 
Now we're going to check them. Okay? You can see it's getting closer. Okay? We're going to do one more round for 15 seconds. And this should give us a nice dark um, wood burn. And if it doesn't, we're gonna do one last round for 15 seconds, okay? So the key here is you're gonna do short bursts of heat because one, you don't wanna over burn it. And two, you don't wanna burn the wood around it, okay? Once this stuff gets activated, it heats up really fast. Okay, so we'll check it again. Now, this is getting darker. If you wanna leave it like this, you can or we can put it in for one more round. Okay, I'm gonna put it in one more time. Check your paper to make sure nothing's on there. This one, there's not really anything on there, so we're good here, okay? And we're gonna do a final 15 seconds, okay? So do not leave this on here for 45 seconds in one straight round. Do not do that. You are going to risk it burning also, don't let the top platen completely touch it without some type of barrier, heat barrier in between. Again, that can cause the entire piece of wood other, to scorch. Okay, so let's see. So now, first off, you can see I now have markings on my paper. So the next time I use this, I'm going to either just trim it off or use a different area. And I have the wood... It has now burned. Now you can see they've done two different ways, but that's okay. Again, when you're using a heat gun, the same thing can happen. And if you want a darker um, area, you do it for longer. If you want a little bit less, you can do it um, for less. So these are three now that I used, same stencil, okay? They all look a little bit different. If you wanted to put this one back in to make it a little bit darker, you could do that. Um, if you've never used, if you've ever used a heat gun, you know how long that takes. So that's why this process is actually really nice. So let's watch what happens if I put it in for again. So if you were counting, we've so far, we did the one drying, three 15 seconds, and this is a final on one of them, 15 seconds. So that's a minute 15 max, where with the heat gun, you're looking three to five minutes for a small design like this, okay? And only one at a time as opposed to two. All right, so now this is a really good example of what not to do, okay? I'm gonna show you here in a second. We got a darker burn, but what we also got is this shading, shadowing over here. That is a result of this. So it's really, this is again why it's really important to make sure you're moving your paper so that you don't get that shadow because it will transfer back to your um, your piece of wood, okay? So you wanna get something that looks like this or like this, all right? See how nice they, they these came out? Okay, all right, you guys, so all I was using here was torch paste, okay? Torch paste gel, um, I put a link to this up top. It's not super cheap. It's $17.50 for this little thing, but you probably saw if you've been watching the whole um, video how much I used just a very small amount and you can you know smear it across and then put it back the any remainder can go back in here to use later um, so just this stuff is really really nice I don't know if you can get it on Amazon I honestly didn't look but I did um, I did link to it I got you a 15% off coupon for that as well along with um, links to the heat press vinyl that you can use for a stencil that would be a one-time stencil or um, a links to the icon art system where you can make your own custom reusable stencils and you can see these are mesh i don't know if you can see real close here but what's holding all this together is a very very fine mesh and that's what you're actually um pushing the whether it's paint or torch paste or uh, speedball for textiles. That's what, how these are being made. Okay. All right, you guys, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. I'll see you soon.